going to tell you a little bit about my life and family life in 1976. This is uh, online, New York Magazine, from June 7, 1976, issue of the New York Magazine. Tribal Rights of the New Saturday Night by Nick Pond. <coughs> This new generation. And so here, there's, see what shoes he's wearing? Platform shoes. She's wearing platform shoes. And they're dancing and disco dancing. And this guy says, uh, the author, uh, Feels like an explorer out of de his depth. So, <clears throat> this uh, feature article inspired the feature film Saturday Night Live with John Travolta. Uh, now, this is published in, uh, again, June 1976 and December 1977. Saturday Night Fever's Out. Tribal Rights of the New Saturday Night. The television, late night, Saturday night television show, um, Saturday Night Live, had only been out about a year. My, I didn't watch it. Um, I did see the initial 1975 George Carlin monologue, but none of the rest of it held my attention. Uh, so, on uh, in 1976, when this was published, I was married, and my wife and I, uh, the next year, we'd buy our own home, renting here, and uh, we kind of had a routine, you know, we're both working. And on Saturday night, what my wife wanted to do was not go disco dancing. Now she's, we're young, uh, and, uh, but, and she was pretty conformist, you know. Now she didn't wear platform shoes, but that's because she'd already broken an ankle wearing high heels and didn't wear high heels of any kind anymore. So, uh, no, what she preferred to do was stay in and watch television on Saturday night. She watched Mary Tyler Moore Show, The Bob Newhart Show, All in the Family, Alice, and then The Carol Burnett Show. <clears throat> If we, uh, if she was still, you know, felt like going out after that, what we did was go to a movie. And there were some really good movies in 1976. You know, Rocky and, oh, I should have made a list, but I didn't. Anyway, there were really good movies. So, um, you know, she was happy watching television. She actually wanted to watch she wanted me to not pester her until she was through watching television. So, <clears throat> nope, no Saturday night disco dancing for us. We might and did watch, uh, actually I couldn't sit and watch all these, so they didn't hold my attention the way they did her, but uh, she really liked that. Of course, it's the era. Mary Tyler Moore was still still hip and she thought Bob Newhart was a hoot and fascinated by all in the family and she really paid attention to Alice and really loved the Carol Burnett show. <laughs> so that's 1976. Now way leads on to way, we get divorced. 10 years later, I'm dating somebody else because we're divorced. <clears throat> Couple of years after that, we get I get married to a new woman, and one day we're talking about 
the past, and we're talking about Saturday night, 1976. <clears throat> and my second wife, turns out, had done almost exactly the same thing. She watched marriage on Saturday night. Now, she was single. She, she was already, uh, you know, she wasn't married in 1976. And she stayed in and watched Mary Tyler Moore and Bob Newhart and all in family. But she didn't watch Carol Burnett. She watched Starsky and Hutch. <clears throat> so, very similar. And, you know, she might go out with some of her girlfriends. And she saw Rocky in 1976. So, uh, that was a good year for entertainment. <clears throat> My wife and I just talked yesterday. Uh, back in the previous century, 20th century, late 20th century, certainly the last quarter of that, <clears throat> You were pretty safe watching television most evenings that there was going to be some entertaining programs. And you were also safe, go if you went to a big theater with multiple screens, one of them would be pretty good. And she said, it's just the opposite now. Most of them are pretty bad. And you're lucky if you find a good one. Good entertaining movie. We're both baffled at the change. Anyway, I was talking with a cousin of mine and he said he thought people would be interested in this. We used to have good entertainment. In fact, it was so good that healthy women would stay home and watch television instead of going out, disco dancing and uh, or something. And it was you had pretty good fortune going to the movies. There's almost always a good entertaining movie on. But those times have changed. So, yeah. Uh, almost 50 years ago. Tribal rights of the new Saturday night. Forty-eight years ago, forty-eight, uh, forty-seven, forty-eight and a half. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm an old man in a nursing home. I don't know what uh, maybe. I don't know what people do now. I get the impression they just live on their phones, but that's just uh, an impression. <laughs> 